buckets I've got setting out from where it was raining last night, and it's still raining actually, but we're going to be using these for our compost tea um, so we can use our rain barrel that we're collecting water in for the rest of the week and in case uh, there's a, a drought in between or a time period where there's not a lot of rain in between all the rain we're getting right now. So just in case, I like to use uh, my resources and use five gallon buckets to collect the water as much as possible so that our rain barrel is always full as much as it can be because we've only got a small one it's just a little 80 gallon so it's uh it helps to to use buckets whenever possible especially when there was a hard rain like there was so okay guys um what we're dealing with today is we're taking our compost pile here um this is our big one that we've got all the leaf litter from the neighbors which are hardwood leaves and some pine mixed in uh, mostly oak and um, in terms of hardwood and then for the, the uh, straw that you see so this is cow bedding mixed in uh, with the, the cow manure in it and a very 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 good cow manure the owner of the cows feeds the these are rescue cows so the owner feeds them like top notch top shelf foods guys I went over the ingredients and it was it's like all the amendments that I put in my compost tea but they're feeding to the cows instead so it's inoculating that organic matter and, and really um, the, the microbes that are in here, other than what I've put in from the store-bought products, um, should be in there, uh, theoretically. But anyway, I'm just excited to get all this going. So what we're doing is basically creating another layer. So now we'll have, um, this will be mixed in a little bit more as we turn it onto these layers here and mixing in with horse manure. And this is fresh, so it's got a whole lot of nitrogen, a lot of bacteria in it, and um, we're just going to be turning that right in there. So horse manure is po partially rotted organics. So um, it's, it's basically uh, half composted, um, so if you want to look at it that way. So what we need to do is basically just use it as the nitrogen source because it's so full of bacteria breeding in it already from composting inside the horse's stomach um, that we're going to turn it right over and just, just basically start breeding this bacteria in this substrate is how this is going to work. And we're putting a more bacteria in, in uh, fungi and all the the soil food web um because this had humic acid in it and this came from a worm bin so it has a whole lot of microbes guys this is is humic acid from a worm bin um in addition to uh like the mycorrhizal inoculants i put endo and ectophytic mycorrhizal inoculants and i also put the uh, mycos in there which is um, m for the root growth but that's a endo and ectophytic mycorrhizal uh, root specific um, inoculant so i thought that was really interesting but it really helps root, go root growth a lot, according to what I've heard and what I've read. So I haven't haven't been using this stuff long long enough to see root uh, progressions and root evolutions at this point. But I have seen a whole lot of growth on the top, man. I mean, we've got a beautiful backyard right now. It's just got a whole lot of things going on. So, um, but guys, this is what we're doing. This is our goal here. Uh, we're just turning this in. So let's go ahead and get started.
guys, Tom with Permaculture Wilmington. I'll keep you updated. Thank you.